Hello everyone, this is DA from Academy. This video is the second episode related to the examples of the metric space. Today we will talk about the sequence space, the space of all the bounded sequences that is represented by L infinity. So the metric on L infinity is the supremum of the absolute values for the difference of the two sequence x and y, where x and y are the two sequences uh, basically two bounded sequences from the space and for n that would go to infinity. Now the target is to prove this function that is defined on the space of bounded sequences as a metric. So we know the three basic conditions of a metric. The first is that should be greater than zero. If it is zero then the two terms must be equal they have symmetry in it and also satisfy the triangular inequality. So moving toward it, now we have to check that this function must be greater than or equal to zero. Um, if it is equal to zero, then x and y must be same. So this property is obvious because the way the function is defined, the supremum of the absolute values, that absolute value can't be smaller than zero. So prove by the definition of the function, now we have to check this, that if we suppose that d of x, y is equal to 0, then x must be equal to y. So this is equal to the supremum of the x n minus y n, where n belong to the natural number is equal to 0. We know that if supremum of absolute sequence is 0, then this implies that the sequence is of zero function. So we can write it here x n minus y n is equal to zero for all of the n belongs to n. So we can write x n y n are same again for all n belongs to n. So for all n belongs to n, if every value of x is equal to every value of y, then this eventually the two sequences are same, so x is equal to y. So this is also true in a converse way. If x is equal to y then the supremum of the difference of these two sequences term-wise must be equal to zero. So the first condition is satisfied here. Now moving toward the second condition. The second condition is about symmetry that if d of x, y must be equal to d of y, x. So we know that d of x, y is equal to this supremum of x, n minus y, n where n belongs to n. So what we have to do is just take in the negative common from this side and the next will proceed as it is. So the absolute value of the negative is the negative of the thing that must be y n minus x n. And this is the definition of d of y x. So the symmetry has been proved now. The d of x y is equal to d of y x. So this function has symmetry in it as well. Now moving toward the third property. The third property is about the triangular inequality. So we know that the absolute value of x and y must be equal to the absolute value of if we add and subtract a sequence where n belongs to n. So this can be written as xn minus zn plus and the next is this. And we know that the absolute value of the sequences term by term is smaller than or equal to the supremum of this sequence by the definition of the supremum. So this is true for the next sequence as well zn minus yn. So we can write now that if we add both of the terms, then this the other side of the inequality must be with each other. So this is equal, must be less than the sum of these two. And we know the relation if A is smaller than B and A is greater than C. So we can extract from this that C is smaller than B. And this is the case here. This is taken as A where A is smaller than B. And this is A is 
greater than that c so we can implement this c is smaller than this b so we can write this here and we know that this is the definition of d of x and z the way we function the way we define the function and this is the z and y now this is the upper bound of this x and minus y and by definition we know that supremum is almost smaller than or equal to the upper bound because supremum is the least upper bound so we can use this here the next way because x n minus y n is smaller than the supremum of x n minus y n if we use this definition for x n minus y n because for all of n so we can write here so the supremum of x n minus y n is smaller than or equal to the function of x z d of x z plus d of z y and this is by definition is equal to d of x y so d of x y is smaller than d of x z plus d of z y and this is what the triangular inequality so the third condition is also satisfied here so we have proved that the function d of x y that was defined on the bounded sequences is really a metric so finally we have proved the function d as a metric on a sequence space so we can write l infinity and d is a metric space of the sequence space so this is for now we're looking for more such videos then you can subscribe this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos we will meet in the next video till then take care goodbye